Hi guys, welcome to Living Lotus Yoga on YouTube. I'm Carol, and coming up, I have a short segment out of my gentle hatha, calming body and breath practice. The full 60 minute class can be found on my Patreon. The link is in the description of this video. In this class, we will be incorporating the three part breathing technique or Dirga Pranayama a great exercise to increase your oxygen supply and in turn decrease stress and tension throughout the body. So please enjoy this short segment and if you would like the full video, head on over to my Patreon. Namaste. So best and most comfortable seated position for you and you can use your block, bolster or a blanket to prop the sit bones here because I want you to be comfortable because we're going to come to the seated position and hold it for a few rounds of our Dirgo Pranayama once again. Finding this breath in a seated position. So get comfortable. Again, one hand belly, one hand heart center or to the chest. Close the eyes if you like. And then take a deep breath in, sigh it out. And once again, come back into your three part breath, inhaling belly, lungs, chest, exhaling chest, lungs, belly. Continue for four more rounds at your own pace. Don't worry if it's a little bit harder to find this breath in the seated position. It's just about exploring and trying. And allowing that sense of calm to once again wash over you. Now take a deep breath in, sigh it out, open the eyes if you have them closed, take a deep breath in, reach up, palms meet, gaze up, exhale, pull it down. Left hand will come to the left knee, right hand will just drop down by our side and we're going to tip our left ear towards our left shoulder. Then taking the right arm, go ahead and extend it away from you. Couple of breaths here. And if this is feeling okay, you wanna take it a little bit deeper or into the shoulder. Take this right arm and sweep it around for the small of your back and now encourage the right shoulder to roll open. Breathe in, breathe out. Reset right hand and lift up the head. Other side, right ear, right shoulder, left hand by your side. Extend left arm away. Take a couple of breaths. And then if you'd like, left hand sweeps around for the small of the back, left shoulder rolls open. Reset left hand, reset head. Breathe in and out. If your easy seated position is like this, legs crossed, you're gonna go ahead and take the leg that's in front and bring it behind. See how that feels. Settle back in, hands to knees and mortar and pestle. So we're gonna make those circles, top half of the body, making circles over the bottom half. 
It's really up to you how big or small these circles are or how fast or slow they are right now. You can match the movement to your own breath. Then you're going to switch and go the other way. One more. And come back up and into center. Sit nice and tall. Go ahead, reach your hands out in front of you, then turn the palms up. Once again, make a fist, thumb on top, and then squeeze that fist to your forearm and then release the fingers and see if you can encourage the fingers to point down towards the ground. Do that two more times. Make a fist, thumb on top, squeeze to forearm. Release and fingers point down to the ground. One more. Soften hands, inhale, reach. Palms meet, gaze up, exhale, pull. And from here, we're gonna come over onto tabletop, so hands and knees. If you do have a blanket, you can feel free to pad the knees here. Remember, we're taking extra care of ourselves today. So finding that tabletop position, bringing your hands slightly ahead of your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, about hip distance apart. And from here, just settle yourself in and take a deep breath all the way into the belly and out and then go ahead and extend your right leg out behind you let the big toe come down to the mat and then press back through the right heel so now you can feel that stretch on the back of the right leg and then just edge off a little bit come forward and again press back so that you can really feel that stretch down the back of the leg and go ahead and edge off. One more, press it back and then come back into center, but keep that leg extended. Inhale, sweep the right leg up to your right side. Doesn't have to come too high. And then exhale, sweep the right leg all the way down and around over to the left and then back up and around to the right. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and gaze at the foot if you would like. Brings in a little bit more of a neck stretch. One more. And then draw the right leg back into center and right knee right back underneath you. Breathe in. And out. Left side, extend left leg, big toe down. Press back, feel the stretch, edge off. Press back, and forward. One more, and bring it back. From here, we're gonna go ahead and sweep the left leg. So inhale, left leg up, around to the left side. Exhale it down and around behind you. Up to the left side down and around behind you. Two more. Bring that left leg back to center and all the way underneath you. Take a breath in table and breathe it out. You're gonna guide your right hand to your heart center, right elbow to the side. And then inhaling, so you can draw that right elbow towards the ceiling and then back into center. So this twist is coming from your middle to upper back. We're trying to keep our hip points facing down towards the ground or the mat. Two more. And back. Reset, right hand, inhale. Exhale, take the weight off the left hand, bring it to your heart center, same thing. Inhale, elbow up, exhale back into center. One more. 
reset left hand, even out the weight on all four points. Then take a deep breath in and find cow pose, belly dropping, chest lifting, gaze lifting, exhaling to find your cat, you'll tuck your tailbone really round through the back and gaze between the knees. Flow cow pose on the inhale, cat pose on the exhale. Two more. Try slowing the breath and then just finding that pause between the two as you transition. And table. Breathe, extend your right leg out behind you once again, big toe to the mat. Draw your abdominals or engage your core, so draw your belly button in towards your spine and then lift up the right leg. Let's flex that right foot, squeeze the right glute. We're gonna hold for three breaths. If you want your balancing table, extend your left arm out in front, but know that it's an option and not necessary. Three breaths. Exhale, bring it all back to the mat. Cow pose. Cat pose. Table pose. Other side, left leg. Extend the leg. Bring it up, strong core, squeeze the left glute. Optional, extend right arm. Again, three breaths here. And bring it back. Take one more cow. And one more cat. Find your table. If you're using blocks here, you're going to bring them a little bit closer to you. If you're not using blocks, don't worry about it. They're not necessary. Just a little add on here as we come into our wide legged child pose. So big toes together, knees wide, seat dropping down towards your heels. You're going to scoot those blocks a little bit closer so that you can actually bring your elbows on top of them. You'll bring your hands to prayer and then drop your head down between the space, right between the blocks there. Forehead down to the ground, hands can rest either above the head or just resting on the back of the skull or the back of the neck. So you really start to feel this little bit of a deeper stretch for the triceps or the back of the arms. We're gonna sink on in and just breathe. Find your breath once again. And as you settle here in this variation of child's pose, let's see if we can drop back into that three part breath again for a round of five. It's gonna be a little bit different here as you'll notice that your belly is pressing against the thighs. So seeing if you can start to send the breath all the way around into the back body, allowing for that full expansion. So when you're ready, once again, inhale, belly, lungs, chest. Exhale, chest, lungs, belly. At your own pace. And once again, don't worry if you're struggling to find the breath in this pose. It's just about trying, deepening and seeing what's going on with you.
So I hope you enjoyed this short segment. Again, the full 60 minute class can be found on my Patreon. The link is in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching.